bro, bro. <laughs> 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 no, why you attempt so high this year? You already, you already pecah your, your skin yeah, twice. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what dreams are made of, ah. Huh? Yeah. Subash, if you're watching this, I know you and Keegan didn't get to drive the uh, what? AMGs. AMGs, the C63s in the C in the dream car drive. That's why we got him this today. <laughs> Proper dream car material, huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> Hi guys, Bobby here. So what I have today is the 718 Boxster S. All right, and I'll let you have a closer look at it. I mean, the way they updated the styling now, it is so handsome, right? It follows closely the, the design cues from the 918. So this is the 718. Why the number 718? 718 was a famous racing car from Porsche back then when they won the Targa Florio, which is a legendary road race, all right? So, I'll let you have a look at it. I mean, you just sink in for a while. How handsome this car is. All right. Back then, the Porsche, right, was like a more. Uh, I mean, most a lot of people will say, you know, it's it's feminist, you know. But this one is not. This one is very very sporty, very handsome car, and it's good looking. All right. Look at all the design details they put into the light cluster. All right. And then that wing at the back, this thing actually rises up at speed. But there is a really, really nice bit here where the Porsche branding is shown. All right, I really like the design of this car. See, they put the uh, exhaust at the middle now, All right? And these rims, these are classic, classic Porsche design rims. Of course, these are options, right? This car is fitted with quite a number of options, but that's what makes the car special and beautiful, right? And this paint job is just... This Miami blue paint job is fabulous, right? Look at it. Handsome, handsome car, huh? Right. And it's, a, it's of a great size as well. Get the roll hoops here and they stylize it. That's the uh, wind deflector or something. And the roof opens and closes really nicely. And there is a aluminium panel inside the roof now. Soft top, but it looks soft top. Right? You can call it a hard top actually. It's hard. Right? So that, that panel helps with, you know, when you're going high speeds, the soft roof will be flapping and all that. But this one helps. All right? And very rarely for a convertible or a roadster where you have, you know, a lot of them, right, they, they fold the other way, but they keep it really small. So this one, they just decided to go with it this way, like a normal one, and the size is decent, right? The seats are very comfortable, and then you get the really, really good looking steering wheel. Porsche steering wheels are the best looking, I would say. Right, you have all the necessary controls here. What differentiates the Boxster S from the regular Boxster is this. Right, you have Sport, Sport Plus and all that. Where you just need to tweak the dial. All right. And those really nice pedal shifters at the back. Entire piece are made of metal. Lovely, lovely quality. All right. So, and then, uh, seriously, Porsche builds the best interiors amongst German cars. Their interiors are the best solid, you know, exceptional use of material and design and all that. It's, oh my god, this entire piece is just so nice to hold, right? So, uh, does it have a lot of cubby spaces? I mean, this is a Porsche, right? We don't need to really go through that, but look at that. It's nice. And this part, I think the door bins are more usable than a lot of cars. So you see how they hide the uh, speaker system in there? Most cars, right, when they have a speaker here, they sort of block off the entire thing. But Porsche just mold it in a way whereby it's usable. So you have the speaker here, you can put a small bottle, I guess, the way it's molded. And it doubles the usage because when you rest your arms, 
I love cars with that, you know, it's very very nice, very ergonomic and super high quality leather and this is color coded with the car as well, the exterior, the body and even this, even the keys are color coded now, see that, right, so it's a very nice place to be in, you know the weird part is uh, you, you can't imagine how dark brown leather works well with Miami blue But it works! That's the beauty of it, right? Now, uh, the biggest news in all these new Porsches now Is this infotainment system, right? It is very, very, very good uh, I hook up my phone I mean, of course, now it has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay So you do not need to really pair your phone You just hook it up and then it works, right? On the get-go Right, so it's very nice. The CD player is in here, and you have everything. You have everything with it. All right, so that's where you do your selection. You know, home. Right, and it's touch screen. Right, media, and it's capacitive. I mean, it's very, uh, very sensitive. You don't need to really press it. You know. Yeah, it's very easy to use very very easy to use so and I, and I appreciate the fact that they have all these buttons out here right so that it, you get you get easy access to them immediately so then you have all your you have your infotainment system here you have the air, HVAC control the aircon controls the control panel is over here and then you get the, uh, the, the car dynamics you know to change the car from sports mode to normal mode open and close the roof all right uh, adjust the suspension up and down and then you have the sport exhaust the auto start stop and this one is forbidden okay this is turning off the traction control and I like and then you'll be like where's the cup holders where are the cup holders I want my cup holders Porsche has the best solution for cup holders this is used across the board from the Boxster to the 911 to the Panamera Boom. This is a showcase of engineering, right? It's just amazing engineering being applied here. And then it's hidden there. Lovely, right? So this is accessible. I like the solidity of it, you know? It's just so solid. And then you get a large glove box. Is it practical? It is, all right? And I get this nice counter here, all right? So this is a lovely place to be in and this one is you have the ref counter in the middle the speed there and then this is dynamic this is actually an LCD where it shows uh, different different modes right even you have a g-force if you can't see it all right okay let me show you all right chrono you know your own start you know counter and then you know tire pressure monitoring and then your trip computer you have your navigation see that's lovely right it's a lovely use of limited real estate in your car right because if you want a 12 inch screen it's going to take up your dashboard space and all that right but this one is decent the size of it you know the funny thing with a lot of car makers now right it's as if they use the screen size it's like a, a, <laughs> a phallic sword fight you know men like to compare who has the larger asset so now it's like a lot of car because oh i have 12 inch screen i have 17 i have 19 i have 29 wow <laughs> right so open the back open the front and then you have a look it just looks fantastic amazing right so look at it this way where's the engine right and then here and then this part when I open up the front so this is Porsche packaging right so here is a very large luggage space and then here is another rather big luggage space where's the engine here is the roof that's the roof mechanism where the toot is the engine right <laughs> well it's somewhere here that's it's somewhere around there that's the amazing amazing part right it's right underneath the the, the roof mechanism and it's hidden in there they breathe through here 
right the intakes and it's just lovely the way they package the car is fantastic i mean anyone who have seen the lotus evora is like oof, how the hell they package that car until that it has absolutely no space where in fact it's actually a similar car to this right and porsche keeps everything tidy very very tidy here's where you add your engine oil and that's where your water goes right that's it it's amazing the way they design it brilliant right yeah engineering is just amazing Porsche 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 ah you no longer see the Audi logo here <laughs> when it started right, you get to see a, a, a Audi emergency triangle warning sign there with the Audi brand but now no more and I really like how this car looks seriously wow I need to work hard why am I doing this I should be a banker I should be an insurance agent property agent so that I get rich and I can buy this my god it's just so nice check out the little details can you see it let me block off the sunlight I can't see whether you can see it or not it's so lovely just just what's it in here is just my god P0 tires and look at the ratings 265 35 20 inch and I love these rims man these are the classic Porsche design rims they look lovely five spoke and then they slowly broadens up towards the end that's very very nice and this car is just brilliant let me see how long it takes to close the roof uh, I need to get something better um, now uh, how do I close the roof here all right so this is where we close the roof uh, let me start by having a timer Clock. I cracked my phone so sad how do I do this at the same time? Crap! One hand is holding this, another hand needs to uh, start and then close the roof. <laughs> this, is, this looks so stupid, right? One, two, three. Eight point four seconds. Okay, you can close the roof of this car just by holding the uh, lock button, alright? Uh, I'm going to show you. And I counted just now, it's about 8 and a half seconds. It's very fast. Of course, yeah, I need to hold the key, the, hold the button for a while to initiate this. See? There, it's done. It's very quick. And then uh, now to open it, you, you can just press the unlock button and then hold it for a while so that it initiates the sequence and then as it starts opening you can count how many seconds it's super fast it's very very fast boom done see amazing guess what's this is the new Mazda MX-5 now nah, I'm joking <laughs> well this is the Boxster S and I've driven this car in Sopang and this is I know I know a lot of people has driven this car um, a lot of my fellow motoring journalist colleagues have driven it and Apparently, I, I got it quite late, but better late than never because this is one hell of a car. Uh, I've driven this in Sepang and when they launched the Boxster and the Boxster S uh, and um, this blew me away, seriously. Uh, even though it's only it's the same four-cylinder, 
but it's higher you know 2.5 liters right but this this car blew me away and and to me this uh, sort of re-legitimize the uh, Boxer and Cayman range again with this engine because over, over, over the past five eight years uh, the horsepower race has, has gone just bonkers right you can buy an A-class with 380 horsepower and now they are talking about 400 horsepower A-class right but this is a Porsche right it's a Porsche and you can't really cut it with a 2.8 3.2 liter naturally aspirated engine with about below 300 horsepower and this sort of turn the boxer uh, okay, okay it, it, to me it gives boxer it gives the boxer and cayman range a, a, a brilliant rejuvenation of the range yes previously they are they, they no doubt they are very balanced machines they, they they drive really balancedly and then it's lovely to drive easier to drive than the 911 range um, but however the, for the past few years they are sort of like they were seen as the not serious Porsches right the the especially the Boxster it's almost like a hairdresser's car it proportionately size wise and everything is like the MX-5 but now with this new engine this this all of this it it really shows to you that huh now that I buy a Boxster or a Cayman isn't because I can't afford a 911 but it's because I want it yeah this drivetrain makes them special uh, yeah and it's lovely to drive it is it is lovely to drive um, visibility especially that two you know whenever, whenever you drive a Porsche you will notice that the two bulging hoods I mean or the wheel arches that houses the wheels and the headlamps they actually help you navigate very well so in uh, say for example in a Lamborghini or whatever when you sit low you can't see nuts on the streets right but in a Porsche even if you sit low you can still nicely judge where your car is that makes a big difference especially when you are on track now Malaysians might have gotten used to the so-called track days where there's literally no one around you but when you ask when you when you tell this to an American it's a very different story because in US the the country with the greatest car culture yes the Brits might not want you to believe that but yes the, the Americans are the ones with the greatest car culture they have they have like a racetrack almost every town every city you know they have a racetrack and people go there on weekends for track days and all that and you have a bunch of people there so it's yeah it, it, it makes a lot of sense when you are enjoying your car on the racetrack with this and this bugger is it's a lovely car to drive lovely car to drive and you know the old Porsche engines are they are like they are they are very refined right this one at idle of course with the sports exhaust it has a bit of like <laughs> and then when you're idling like like slowly driving now you know little light throttle it almost sounds like a diesel <laughs> it almost sounds like a diesel of my life and now i'm enjoying more of it Ah, oh, the smell! It smells bad outside! Mm. I love my job! I am reminded of this every time I go behind the wheel of a great car! And this is one. This is one of those moments. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely. A bit of rain. No fear, no fear. You know when 
cabriolets, the winds, the winds are flowing, right? The rains won't come in. There's a little bit of it. No rain! <laughs> Seriously! It's, 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 it's drizzling outside slightly, but there's no rain. There's no rain in here because of the wind, how the wind blows. There's no rain. Oh, it's, 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 it's drizzling in front. Whoa, I need to slow down. I need to slow down. I need to slow down. <laughs> it's a big one in front. It's a big one in front. Okay, so the weather report is not that accurate actually. <laughs> <laughs> it says it says 30% <laughs> it's, it's, it's pouring I thought it's a little bit of drizzle you know now it's pouring oh, thank god the the roof goes up and down really fast so it's that one moment uh -huh, the other moment I need to protect myself so I, I got down to about what 45 to 50 in the in, in the left lane just now and within I don't know I think it's less than I don't know I, I, I didn't count it but it was really fast and it's like done and I'm enjoying <laughs> that's lovely what the there's no more rain is that a joke there's no more rain Dude! What the fuck? Just that part? That must be like the cruelest practical joke. Oh, you dropped your top. Let me shine. Let me rain. <laughs> Let me rain. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> okay, how does the car drive? Um, it's a Porsche lah, right? Oh, no lah, I okay. Some people might not like how it sounds when you are not really working the engine hard because from what I'm listening, from what I'm hearing here, it sounds like a freaking diesel, right? So, but when you really give it a go, okay. Now the suspension, it's a sports car, right? But I tell you nowadays, right, suspension technology has improved so much. Uh, the knowledge of tuning, of balancing and all this has gotten so well that this car is perfectly comfortable. It's, it's lovely. It is not wallowy, you know, but it absorbs stuff up. Yeah. But what's most important for a good suspension is that it absorbs instead of merely reacts. You know, that 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 makes a big big difference. I'm not sure on, on the road how's it gonna behave, but I remember in Sepang, this car has loads of grip. It's very, it's a, I mean, it has a lot of mechanical grip, the, the tires and all that, and how it maintains traction. Uh, yeah, it's just that when you're going slow like this, right, you might feel that the car doesn't sound very characterful. You know, those usual nice sounding engines but when you give it a go see it sounds like that which is which is something yeah lovely lovely yeah it might not be the best sounding engine seriously when you come to think about it the um when you give it a go that time uh, even the uh, and especially now that I've worn the sports exhaust, because when you when you think about it, right, uh, a six-cylinder engine, of course, they will sound better. And um, I have a six-cylinder turbocharged BMW, and I can tell you that engine sounds a lot better than this one. So well. Cayman whereby you work 
within you know within the ref range uh, because when, when it's a naturally aspirated car you can work with it right especially when it has a very uh, direct and sensitive throttle that allows you to really I mean every movement of your feet affects how the engine breathes literally and that kind of engine actually has uh, gives you a lot of how do I put this communication I guess connection I guess I'm not sure which one is a better word uh, but of course when it's turbocharged there is a sort of uh, there is a little bit of barrier there when it comes to really having the engine react to your to your throttle angle you know because it's physics you need some boost to get it going or maybe you don't need but when boost happens comes and then the car just push further so there is a there is a there is a layer between it yeah there is a layer between absolute this part smells It's no longer a nice to have sports yeah. car, right? It's a fucking yeah. weapon now. Yep. It's a fucking weapon. Proper, man. Uh, and then Porsche build quality is like... Yes, yes, it's solid. Solid. Solid, uh, fucking solid. What's up, man? Brilliant. Brilliant. The thing, the engine is no longer like high pitch, right? Yes, we got the turbo chargers. Yeah. And then when I'm going slow, right? Just now, I mean, when driving, driving back, normal traffic, uh, it sounds almost like a diesel, you know? Yeah. You hear the mechanical bits? No, force induction always makes a, your car sounds like diesels, you know? <laughs> at, low, at, low, at low speeds. <laughs> but it's damn nice, lah. I still miss the NA, lah. No, I don't miss the NA. No, I don't miss the NA at all. The NA is so raspy, man. I know it's raspy, but... So much. How often you get raspy? No, this, one, this one has the... This one, <laughs> this, one has, this one has the urgency. Yes, because of the turbos. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I like the sound it makes. Yeah. It's like a super fucking angry... Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. No, it sounds like that. Ooh. Brilliant, man. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Small, tiny little Porsche. Yeah. yeah that's nice. Huh? Yeah, this yeah. is a good touch. Germans, huh? Germans being Germans. Huh? This dream car, huh? This is the dream car, yeah. Not in the C class. We gotta go now. <laughs> See, the thing is this now. The 2 liter, right? Yeah. Starts at what? 480? Yeah, around, yeah. Right? Late 400s lah. Ah, 
But that's not the that's the non S. I know, uh. I know. It's 300 horsepower, yeah. right? It's a Porsche, right? Yeah. And it's a it's about the price of the SLC 200, right? Yep. How much is the SLC 200? No, the SLC 300, in fact. The SLC 300 is quite pricey. They, 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 they call it 300 now, but it's a 2 litre yeah, turbo, ma. 245 horsepower, right? Yeah. And it's 500 plus, ah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Would you get an SLC or a Porsche Boxster? That's the question. It's Boxster, not even a Boxster. Question. It's not even a question. Yeah, Boxster. <laughs> Go for a Boxster. Don't base your life. <laughs> you only live once. This is. This is. Oh, this is proper, man. Yeah. The way it performs so hot. This thing is amazing. But actually, I prefer the, the regular one without the S because that one, the engagement is really on point. <laughs> no, 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 Yeah, but this is fast. It's rapid. It's rapid. It's nice. It sounds better. The one got no sound. Yeah, of course. Because this one got the, the, what do you call the exhaust? That's that name. Butterfly shit, lah. Ah, ah, yeah, exhaust flaps. Valve exhaust thingy. Yeah, I'm gonna get my wallet. Open sasami. Another parking. <laughs> and then on a day like this, this is perfection. Seriously. I mean, when the sun isn't out, it's nice, soothing weather, with the wind blowing in your hair. This is what it's all about. This is the kind of experience that the kind of magic that, that cars like this give and I'm really lucky to to have this as my job seriously I mean, it's just nice